Have a holly jolly. Stop it. You guys yelled at me last time. It's not Christmas. It's barely Thanksgiving. But I've got some more tracers to do today. These are from Happy Valley. These are green to red 9mm tracers. My buddy Benny over at Kosher Surplus sent these for us to just throw down range like we did with his Piney Mountain 22 tracers. We'll do a little different this time. We're going to throw 10 of these, or actually 20 of these, across the chronograph in our 4.95 inch barrel and our 16 inch just to see what kind of velocity we're getting out of this 9 millimeter. It's 135 grains. We have our Pro Chrono Digital as always. It's about 34 degrees outside and getting cold. We'll be at 10 to 12 feet with the chronograph and then we'll take that away and just blast some down range. Let's get set up and run these across. We'll start with our 4.95 inch Smith & Wesson MMP. The chronograph was reading a minute ago. If it stops reading, we'll stop and throw the light kit on it real quick. Off camera, they were subsonic out of the pistol. I have the B-roll camera facing down range so you guys can see the tracers. As a reminder, always practice extreme caution with tracers because there's a burning element with these that's burning as it's going down range so if it's dry these things can catch stuff on fire and if you saw from the 22 video they just go all over the place Nine thirteen, ten seventy five, nine oh eight. 1040, 1061, 846, 988, 1061, 942, and that's it. So subsonic, and now our 16 inch barrel. This is a CMMG Resolute 200 series. That's off. 1159. 1187. I've been having feeding troubles with this gun. 1116. 1175 1189 I don't know maybe if the extractors bad Volvo 7 1165 no so yeah it's not Not rolling the bolt back far enough. Eleven fifty one, cycled that time. Eleven fifty three, cycled that time. Eleven eighty seven. Eleven sixty two. It's really weird. Someone asked last time when we did the Piney Mountain. How accurate they were. Here is our Happy Valley at approximately 25 yards with the CMMG Resolute 200 series. Our primary arms 1 to 6 power with a KISS reticle 1.08 inches. Pretty accurate for a standard 135 grain 9mm loading. I can see it going from green to red. 
My berm, if you can see it down there in the sunset, is about 200 yards, maybe 210 at the most. I certainly like tracers. How about you guys? Now the nice thing about the Happy Valley and the Piney Mountain tracers is that you get almost instantaneous lighting out of the barrel. So if you're not shooting very far, 200 yards max, it seems like the max lighting distance for these. If you got a target down there that you're not hitting and you want to see where your bullets are going because you can't see the dirt kicking up, throw a couple tracers in there and shoot down yonder and find out where you're hitting. Now like I mentioned in the Piney Mountain video, Definitely when you're shooting any tracers, you want to make sure that you're not shooting into any dry material or around dry material because these can ricochet. The 9mm seem to ricochet a lot less than the 22 and these seem to have a pretty good bullet path when shooting them. Accuracy wise, at, you know, 1 inch at 25 yards, that's pretty darn good for 9mm. I would definitely be interested to see what other colors they could come with. From a tracer standpoint, I do kind of like the solid color tracers. The green to red it's kind of hard to distinguish at least when i was shooting them i'd rather just prefer one solid color trace i'd like to thank happy valley and kosher surplus for sending these out for us to test my patreon supporters and you all for watching until next time stay warm everybody dry materials as they do tend to ricochet. These 9mm not so bad like the 22s, but they can go all, all over. I would definitely be intrigued if they could offer some different colors with tracers, but then... Don't, don't, don't do so. 
Now with the now like with the piney now with the piney mountain, you definitely got to be careful with tracers that you're not shooting around any dry material or anywhere where dry material could be because they do ricochet. It seems like the nine millimeters ricochet less. Now with the Piney Mountain and the Happy Valley, 